Quirk Journal here, back with another video on Ember Knights. This is Hammer. It's Hammer time for Doom 25 Hammer Run. Um, also, the Radiant Challenge, basically, is what I'm going for. So, first things first, Ember Tree. Earned Vitality all the way. Earned Power, Pocket Change, Confidence, Guardian Angel, Relic Dice, Skill Dice, Refinery, Expansion, and Bonus Relic. I honestly think those are the best Ember Tree upgrades for the majority of the weapons. And the mods for the weapon is on top row, defensive stance, middle row, volcanic rift. Volcanic rift is the best. You cannot have anything better than volcanic rift. On the bottom row, safeguard or battle rhythm, but I just like safeguard better. And then overcharge is just obviously insane. It just does so much damage. Anyways, moving on to what? Relics I'm going to be taking into the run. I think this is the best setup, which is one stun powder and three combustion stones. I think that's the best possible outcome, mainly because you want to be able to do this, right? And then when an enemy gets hit by it, they'll get stunned and stuck in it. Seems good. I don't know. We'll have to test it out still. And run modifiers. I set this up previously, and I believe this is the best since there's no scaling, like build or like Tyson's War Gear or anything. We don't need Horde. Horde is not good here. So we're going four haste, four onslaught, one malice, one pantheon, one doused, one sealed because we're only going to ever use like one skill charge anyways, or one skill, and then five blitz and four tyrants. Blitz is fairly easy. You should be able to clear an area in six minutes, should be the keyword. If not, you can always take it down a little bit and I don't know, maybe take up tyrant one more. Now the tyrant four is not bad because the vortexes are probably the worst but still not bad and then dark matter beam is terrible so you don't want to put that on <laughs> that one is the scary one anyways let's go all right here we go so basically oh i have Weapon aim assist on right now. I need to turn that off. Weapon aim assist was good for what I was doing previously, but not now. Weapon aim assist will definitely throw the run. This wasn't a very good showing, but a lot of damage. Also, we're just going to take Ember Fire. I like how low the refresh is, and there's two charges. Um, Hailstone is really, really good as well. Um, you can also get away with, like, Knight's Charge, Hailstone, Hook and Dagger. More or less just movement things. Pilot Light could be really good here, actually. But I kind of want to roll for a Combustion and, like, Kindle Blade. So, yeah, we got the Combustion. Volatile Grimlock, eh. It's, it's alright, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. Maybe I should have taken it though, considering it's now growing kind of. Also, stun, stun mace or giant's mace. Uh, it's all right, especially since I have uh, stun powder, so I will be stunning enemies quite often. Um, crit is eh. It's all right. Once again, this weapon doesn't really utilize crit that well, but might as well take it. And uh, yeah. Ember fire is a lot of damage. Just mainly why I take it is just the damage. Plus, it applies combustion stone damage as well, which means it's even more damage than you think. That's unfortunate that that uh, volcanic rift charge or attack did not hit. Very unfortunate that it didn't reach. And we got Guzzle. Whoa. Just look at that damage, though. That's some crazy damage. <laughs> That's only level 4 combustion. Honestly, I don't even think Flawless Brace is that good here. I mean, it's... Decent. I'm 
kind of looking for the level 5 combustion. Ooh, we hit the Twisted, though. Take Twisted and Giant Mace, level 2. And I guess, why not take Infernal Scale as well? This is kind of a fire shot. Uh, pun intended, by the way. <laughs> The only downside that I have with this weapon is that it's slow. This is my only downside. Otherwise, this weapon is solid. Hailstone. I think we're going to stick with the Emberfire. Regardless. Yeah. There's nothing else that's really that good since we're doing a, a burn build. Alright. Would be nice to be able to pull off the hammer tech a little bit more often, but uh, all right, I guess. Wow, level five combustion. Okay, we're hooking something up here. All right, this is where the hammer tech really comes into play. So, yep, there's one, there's two. And if we got the third one and or just did the hammer tech properly, that could have been a one cycle. Also should have been a two cycle, but I kind of didn't realize that it was Arachna instead of Skrixa. So I thought that they're going to have a shield and they did not. Blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuses. I know, I know. Did he get move speed though? Which is big. We go move speed here, or is it damage? I feel like it's move speed. It's gotta be move speed. Also, meteor? Or what? So, another giant mace? We'll take the giant mace, because why not? Also, that kind of makes me want to go damage. In fact, I feel like damage is better here now that we have giant's mace. So, whenever I actually hit something with that third attack, um, things just get nuked. Actually, really cool. Really cool. Really funny. Perfect as well. Eighteen rooms have been perfected. Them. Really heal room. We'll take that. Make the run go a little bit faster. Also, grab the horn because why not? Once again, this is where hammer tech comes into play, like a lot here. That is some crazy damage. Holy shit. Like, wow, that is nuclear almost. Also, I think I just pick up the, the ignition. Honestly, just so good. It could have been... Yeah, I might have had enough for bobs, but... It's alright. Let me learn. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Like, how am I supposed to know that's what's happening? I mean, I did know that's what happen was happening, but kind of got stuck, not gonna lie. That's the one downside to Tyrants, in my opinion. It's just, like, such a hit-or-miss kind of thing. Plus, just some of the modifiers that happen, there's, like, no real visual indication that that's going to happen. And or, like, a definitive indication. Uh, indicator as in like uh, as you saw there it's kind of the same indicator that you know something's gonna get enhanced like this it's just as really bad because um, you don't really know what's happening until it's you know happened so suppression obelisk come on
more damage. Let's go. Yeah, now I'm just going to scale damage since I have the uh, Giant's Mace at like a pretty damn high level. So, damn, I really didn't help me do that. I <laughs> It's unfortunate. I want to smack them and get max HP. But whatever. It is what it is. If we don't one cycle Burma, I'm gonna uh, end the video right here. I actually got scared there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I almost thought we didn't one cycle Burma. Or damage? Big? Wisdom. Oof. Uh, pain of leeching. Not worth. Probably not worth, at least. I don't think this is worth it ever. The only thing I could take is Bane of Wisdom, but then I can't use my skill in this area, which probably isn't the worst thing, to be honest. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's just do it. This also makes it so that this Suppression Obelisk does absolutely nothing. Because, you know, my skills are already maxed out. Also, would it be Chrono here? I feel like Spite Shield is also going to be good. So that's maximum 15% increase in damage. Just take the Chrono. You know, I don't have a skill right now. It'll be more beneficial um, later on. I just realized that I have to kill a bunch of enemies with the uh, overcharged weapon attack, so I'm kind of um, forcing that a little bit, or trying to. <laughs> the video might be a little bit slower. In fact, I know it's going to be slower. For once again, I need to kill a bunch of enemies with overcharge attacks, which is a little unfortunate. I just went through that wall. Come on. Bap. <laughs> Boom. 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 Okay, cool. I think we still have to kill a bunch more enemies with the overcharge. all counted to overcharge? I don't know. Hopefully. Wow. Wow, I am failing the hammer tech. There we go. There's the hammer tech. Okay, what was that? Boom. 
There you go. Overcharge. Overcharge kill. Also, wow. I'm gonna make this take so much longer. Just because I'm doing the uh, overcharge attack slash uh, overcharge killing challenge as well. I just realized I might actually just die if I continue to try to do this. Unless the only way that I don't die here by doing the overcharge attacks is if I somehow get like a really good timing off and um, can kill a bunch of enemies at once. So more damage, let's go. Or the other thing is I pick up like a Rage Club or something. That'd also be amazing. Since I do have like 20% crit, it's worth it. Also, wow, Mimic? Okay. Probably should have been paying attention to the test shuffle, but whatever. It's alright. I would like some mimics to, you know, kill themselves here, though. That would be quite cool, dude. Where are the mimics at? Holy, I almost failed that. I mean, like, low move speed is crazy bad. Uh. Okay, I've never seen that message before. It makes sense, I guess. So, pilot light, nice. We're just cooking for when we can actually use skills again. Phantom, come on. Bug. It's very unfortunate. On. Ah, oh my god. So I don't think these guys count as enemies. So much damage, though, with this build. This build just does so much damage. It's a slow build because hammer is slow, but it's a very, very high damage build. Okay, we got move speed. Good. Good. Move speed is good. Like move speed. And we can use our skills again, which is even better, honestly. Two hundred percent. Do we do it? I mean, I guess, right? Completely lethal giant mace out of the loot pool. Seems like a good idea to me. Come into rain. Fine. Oh. Bam. Absolutely slammed. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to kill 50 enemies with overcharge attacks. 
Like, that is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. A, it takes really long to, uh, charge up. And B, enemies just attack too fast. Let's go refinement shop, I guess. Maybe we can upgrade something. We need fire and beaming, that's what we need. We'll upgrade bone plate for now. Though I just realized we kind of spent all of our gold now. And, uh,. Might not be able to um, buy anything else pretty much from any of the other shops in this area since we just spent so much gold here. And I really don't think I've killed enough enemies with the uh, good old charge attack overcharge combo yet. Boom, boom, boom. And bap. Now I took a lot of damage there, but I'm really trying to get those overcharge kills. cooked instantly um yeah we're not gonna be overcharging this we are going to be strictly just trying to murder these guys it should have been much faster but i just failed hammer attack so miserably to get kills it's such a pain for charge especially with the freaking range guys man they're just the worst I feel like you're really screwing this shit up. Like, really screwing it up. So, Fury Charm, if we can get 10 gold out of the sign. I don't think we can get 10 gold out of it. Oof, 7. So close. Oh. Might as well grab the health so I don't die. Oh, healing fountain next. Okay, we're chilling. Had to, you know, cook all the food there. Go back to full. Alright, my plan is to just overcharge every single attack here, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. I mean, that damage is crazy. I mean, absurd, even. Okay, we did we did the 50 enemies with uh four charge attacks so now we can stop doing that and be good we can just normally do things now 
which is just uh do the hammer tech basically and focus just on hammer tech that's it that's all i'm gonna focus on now which if you didn't know hammer tech is called the one two skip to three thing or actually it's literally just called hammer tech but uh yeah i'll explain it in a sec So, hammer tech, after we go through this, is basically you attack once, you attack again, and dodge. So it's attack, attack, dodge, and then you get to your third attack. So it's attack, attack, dodge. So you know how you saw the second attack? Yeah, you sh you're not supposed to see that. It's supposed to just be super clean like that. Like you see like one frame of the second attack, and then you skip it by rolling out of it. Anyways, moving on. The other way to do hammer tech that is, well, much slower, but more effective um, is just go through two attacks, like two normal attacks, and then hold the third one. That's it. This is literally the easier way to do it, and it's pretty damn easy way to do it. I guess I go crit here, so why not? Like, the damage is ridiculous once you understand how to do the hammer tech. You can do a third attack every, like, I don't know, two seconds? Actually, probably every second. Which is just ridiculous, once again, because it procs combustion stones every tick of damage it does. And I think there's three to five ticks, maybe three to six ticks, depending on whether you perfected it or not. I don't know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Anyways, what does second half A5 have for us? We got a bob. Okay. Um, I can't think of any relic in our inventory right now that we want to cost a bob, but okay. We got a bob at least. Something. I don't know why I tried to charge, like, a, a second attack there. I should have just, like, you know, cancelled it and retried, but it's okay, I guess. So, more damage is always good, um, especially since I'm at max level Combustion Stone. It's like, what's the point, really, in uh, scaling anything else other than damage now? See, I could gamble Infernal Scale and Pilot Light. Or like, actually, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Pilot light isn't doing us as good as like a fiery imbuement would. So let's let's gamble. Yeah, I think I think it's just that. Guess I could have thrown bone plate in too, but it's a level two, so I wouldn't get the value out. Also, onyx raven. Oh. Okay, we're cooking. Cooking with the skills here. Easy, easy dub. Alright, last room. I think I'm gonna go with the health potion. Just because it should be able to get me up to full, or very close to full. Plus, we got champion room, so I'm not too worried about uh, healing up, that's for sure. Yeah, look at all that food on the ground. Plus potion. Yeah, we're, we're good. I'm just gonna wait out the... Uh, Burn of ignition break. There we go. And boom. Look at that. Full health. Alright, here is Praxis. Or soon up, at least. The Praxis fight, let me tell you. It's gonna be a little underwhelming. With this build at least. This build is ridiculous. Um once again, with hammer tech, it is a lot faster. Uh I can't consistently get hammer tech down, but when I like intense focus on it, 
sometimes I can do it very consistently. But recently I've been struggling with it. Yeah, I'm really struggling with hammer tech right now. Attack, boom, 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 boom. I think I'm just not having enough delay between the attacks. I mean, you can see, like, literally two third attack charges on Praxis did, like, two thirds of his health. Like, it's crazy damage. Especially if you, like, don't screw it up. Um, this phase might be bad, I'm not gonna lie. Do not like this phase at all. This phase is fine, or that attack pattern is fine. I know there's that guaranteed one follows you. Okay, we're good. If we got hit, we would have been in a much worse scenario. But we're fine. Also, one cycle possibility? It's there. It's definitely there. It's just whether I actively do hammer attack or not. Which I brutally failed hammer attack, so I'm gonna say no. Hammer attack is not possible. Wow, we're in this space. Sheesh. This is ne you never want to get to this phase. You should always kill Praxis before you get to this phase, because this phase sucks. It's just another dodge sequence phase, and I hate it so much. Oh my god, that popped my death points. Okay, we're good. We did it, but like, oh my god, that could have been so rough. So, overall, this build is super strong. Like, ridiculously strong. And just, if you want to learn Hammer Tech, learn Hammer Tech. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically the inputs are attack, wait, like, until the attack's over, attack again, and dodge. It's, it's attack, attack, dodge, and then hold attack. That is the sequence. And we ended with a time of 1617, which is not half bad at all. And we unlocked two new skins, very clean. Back to the build though. So the build literally is as simple as this. Combustion stone. That that's it. That, that's literally the build. You just need combustion stones. Um obviously other burn relics like ignition break helps a lot for enemies that are nearby you they just take more uh combustion tone damage because they get burned if they're around you uh very nice also twisted fire starter it just makes combustion stone proc an extra time on your first hit on that enemy uh very nice stun powder and giant mace work very well together especially with volcanic rift mod on the hammer which is the third attack applies burn which then each tick will hit and uh cause stun powder to you know uh, proc on them which then stuns them basically and then you deal more damage for every tick after that to them which is just ridiculous once again um the rest of the build's kind of useless ember fire you didn't see me use it very often but if you get fiery imbuement ember fire will be your best friend because every time you tap ember fire or your skill uh your weapons will apply burn and if you're good with hammer tech you can get the hammer like third charge attack you apply combustion stone twice because you're forcing your weapons to apply burn and then it already applies burn which then obviously you can tell it procs combustion stone twice for each burn tick um really crazy crazy dps if you do get fiery humans um overall really solid run um doom 25 is not that hard on some of these weapons as you can see uh the last 
couple of videos I've been doing, it's also been on Doom 25 to max out the weapon. Uh, most of the challenges with each weapon are fairly easy to get just by playing with them. However, there are some certain weapons that are kind of outliers. Actually, our major outliers like Void Mantle and Scythe, those two weapons have some crazy challenges that take a lot of time to complete. Um, yeah, that, that's all I got for this video. So if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video from me. And if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, leave them in the comments. I read every single comment and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But for now, I'll have to catch you guys in the next one.